Hello, I'm Jerome Pin, and welcome to Dream Engine's Nomad Cities, which is a cross between Factorio and They Are Billions, with a kind of art style that reminds me very much of like a Tim Burton film. Uh, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas springs to mind, but there are a few others. Um, so we have factories and production chains, very much like Satisfactory or Factorio, uh, where we're going to get logs, we'll turn them into planks and so on, and then feed them into this as our kind of central hub, and then we can use those to build buildings and so on. Um, but there's also a gathering wave defense so there's a threat level that is uh, building up just like they are billions and eventually you're going to get attacked by a massive wave and the thick the, the sort of twist with this one is that the city can move but there's a limited platform as to where you can build on so what do you to prioritize to take with you and what do you leave behind and then you go to another area i believe and then start again as i say i've only done the tutorial but sounds really cool. Uh, as I say, the developers sent me a key, so thank you very much to them. And uh, as always, link in the description down below if you want to go and check this out. Uh, it is in early access at the moment. Um, so yeah, wishlist it or you can pick it up for yourself, which one, whichever one you want to do. Uh, so let's jump in and we'll do a, a new game. Uh, there's a three factions, I think it is, but obviously at the moment I've got to do uh, certain things to unlock these tra these uh, ones. Although I think that one actually is coming soon. Yeah, that's not coming in. But this one we could do, if we unlock, you have 3,000 flux while playing with any other tribe. And then they have different starting bonuses. But at the moment, all we can do is junk lords. So um, yeah, let's do that. We can also, as you can see there, it's 25% off city expansion. So we can actually expand the platform that we can take with us um custom i'm gonna take like yeah like 115 yeah there we go that will do that but there's a bunch of things here so enemies challenging uh you know you can ramp that up to hard and forgiving and so on however you want to do it customize the games however you want but i think we'll take i'm still learning i guess but um now nah, let's screw it let's go take your time let's go take your time let's do that one and then we'll jump into there hangman's bluff I mean, to be honest, I quite like that as a name. But again, you can just rename the city, call it whatever you want. But to be honest, Hangman's Bluff kind of sounds cool. I'm just going to go with that, I think. But you can call it whatever you want. And we are also this little robot as well. That's something else I forgot to mention. Uh, so we're this little robot. We can go around. It's kind of ARPG style. Um, so we can shoot. We can punch. Uh, we can upgrade ourselves. We can get repair kits and so on. And then we can also go into a build mode. And uh, build the city out and stuff as well. So uh, you'll see in a second. So here we go. We're our little dude. And then, yeah, the tutorial is off. So uh, milestones are up in the corner. So we need a wood warper. So here we go. There's our little guy. And then there's our little citizens there. I think what we're going to do is get food on the go straight away. So press space. We want to build some houses. Well, we're definitely going to want to take houses with us. Let's build like three houses there. Build one there. That's fine. And then we'll get a production chain going of, yeah, if we feed the food out from there into there, and then we go down to here, like so, and then we'll feed that into there, so it'll kind of loop back on itself. And if we put that there, put that there, put that there, that's great. And then we'll select food to go out onto that resource. So as you can see, now food will go out, get deposited into these houses. And then that will grow our population, which unlocks various things like wooden turrets and so on. If we grow our population, we get more stuff. Uh, so that's good. As you can see up here, there's a threat level. There's some resources. There's flux. There are people. There are power, food, and stone. Or, sorry, engine fuel. So that's the thing. And then this is the platform that we're going to take with us. So anything built on this platform can be taken with us. But obviously, um, you know, we can expand that. I think actually we might just want to get some food straight down we'll get some of these potato farms down uh no actually we need to get wood for oh hello i was about to say we need to go and find wood but there it is and then there we go we can shoot with the right mouse button and then with the left mouse button i can punch them so i'm just gonna punch them to get rid of all these guys and the enemies do get much bigger and stronger and all that stuff go so break those up and we'll get a little bit of wood down there you can see in the bottom right corner near the mini map we're getting some stuff so this is the bloodwood node so we can now build that on there and that'll start gathering us some wood and then what we want to do is we want to go into build mode and we want to start kind of ferrying that out uh this way towards the towards the city we'll kind of go there with it for now and then we'll kind of uh hmm, where are we going to put the rest of that we want some of these wood warpers but as you can see like they are billions 
Uh, there is a limit to where we could build, but we expand that with a Tesla tower, just like they are billions again. So I'm probably going to be using that analogy quite a bit, but there we go. Wood warper. So if we go, I don't think we're going to take these with us. Let's put one there. Let's put one there. Go one there. Actually, I'm going to move that one. Let's go three. We could press M and just move that one. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. Although, ooh. No, that should be fine. That should be fine. And then if we go and build these things into there. And then we'll go up to there. Give that one there. And then connect that up. There we go. And then they'll start feeding that out. And then, oh boy. I kind of not planned this out very well, but there we go. They'll stop putting wood planks out. So if we go over to there. Go over to there. And then we'll feed this just directly back into there. There we go. So we've unlocked another milestone. So we've got wood walls and stuff. And it's just telling us uh, we want a food plant now. So I think that's the next thing. But we, as I say, we need these uh, planks to be uh, built first. So that's good. So I think I'm just going to let the planks build up for a little while. Although food is going down. So yeah, maybe we should do some food. Let's get the potato farm down. Probably want to get like... Hmm. Yeah, if we go there... And then, yeah, that's just one. That's one. I'm going to go and see if I can find any, like... Oh, boy. Yeah, thought I didn't want that. No, no, go away. Yeah, don't, I definitely don't want you. I was trying to find some stone. Um, just kind of lay out the next uh, resource that we might have, we might needing need. So, let's go and do some recon whilst we wait for some of that wood to kind of build up. We'll keep an eye on the food levels and stuff. Uh, let's say the threat level we're on cycle six. I think when it gets to like fifteen, it goes up to a threat level one. I think it is, uh, but I could be wrong on that one. Uh, we can actually as well. I could do with crafting some makeshift repair kits. Let's craft a couple of those, and then uh, where was it in my inventory? Let's go there. There we go. It's good, and then I can repair myself. Because uh, if I die, then we all go down. There we go. I'm looking for some stone. Right, let's go back and we'll sort out the food situation. Because there's no stone over there. There might be some over there. Uh, these sort of areas as well are like the forests. And they are billions. And you can't... Uh, the enemy can't go past them. So, yeah. Uh, let's get another one of those potato farmers down. And then, do we actually need any resources for the food plant? No, we just need stone, which we have. Um, I think I'm just going to put that, and then we'll link it into that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to go there. New city level, that's good. Let's get you to go there. You'll cook food. And then you come out there and just link into that, and then we'll just kind of feed that there. Hopefully we won't overwhelm that belt. I think that's a good idea. And then we can always put another one of those food ones on the end once we can get it. We just need one more plank. There we go. And then we'll get another one to go there like that. There we go. And then they should start coming out. Our power is going down. Can we make a power station? Yes, we can. I think we're going to put that down. I think we're going to probably want to take that with us. Yeah, I think we'll want to take that with us. So we'll put that there. That's good. Uh, we can also do research. Where is the research? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll let the planks go up. I want to try and find these. Uh, I want to try and find some stone. So let's get out of build mode. Let's see if we can find some stone. I think if we go back home as well, we just heal. So that's good. If we punch this stuff as well, we get resources. Oh. And if it, we can uh, upgrade our, you know, weapons and stuff. So we've got better fist punches and, you know, better weapons, better guns, etc. It's like a crossbow, I think. So... And, you know, clearing the area out is not necessarily a bad thing as well. Let's go. Aha, stone. Perfect. That's a little bit far away, but there we go. That is good. Just got to clear out all the enemies first. There we are. We got you. And I can punch this for stone, so I'm going to do that and just get a little bit of cheap stone now. Um, and then that's back to the city that way. 
there we go. Right, so we come over here. We put a Featherstone Miner. That's good. That's going. So we've still got plus three on the power, so we're going to keep an eye on that, though. And then we'll get this. I want to start getting some stone production, I think. Yeah, let's go there. And then we'll come all the way over to here. I'm going to come back a fair way, but there we go. It's okay. I think we'll just leave that there for now. Because uh, the stone production, what does that require? It requires planks. Well, we could actually... Uh, we need a uh, Tesla thingy down, don't we? Let's put that there. We'll mm, might want to might want those on the four corners actually. Right, that's good. Uh, we we'll get food is okay, but we probably want to get some more houses down. So mm, how are we going to do that? We definitely want to take the houses with us. So let's put another one there. We could definitely just squeeze one in there. That'll work. Kind of change that loop of that around. Go like there, and you kind of loop around that way instead. Uh, that'll work. Although I guess we could actually reverse that and have that go that way. So any production fed goes straight into there, but I think that'll be okay. Bit crude, bit dirty, but it'll work. There we go. And then we need to actually feed the house as well. There we go. Great. So we've got another house going, so that'll get us a little bit of extra uh, growth. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe getting another power plant down hmm do you want to take I'm going to put that outside the zone I think yeah let's put that outside right and then right the stone's now starting to back up so we definitely want to start thinking about getting some stone production let's get like one of those two of those three of those and then let's get that there like so Get that there, and then we'll do a little doohickey out there. Milestone achieved, that's good. Oh, sorry, yeah, you come there, you come there. And I'll bring you into the base, like so. There we go. And then that'll start feeding that. That's great. Right, so we want to start thinking about getting flux as well uh, at some point. So threat level has already gone up to one. So we're probably going to get a wave attack soon. So we're going to see where that's going to come from. Uh, we could definitely do with expanding that. This is kind of a bit in the way, actually, and probably needs to be shift, shoved down further south, to be honest. Hmm. But, yeah, uh, let's look at the research... Oh, no, I was already on it. Research lab. Okay, so we just need some more planks. Wait for that. I think we'll have this... Yeah, I'll have this on the platform, because we're going to want to take that with us. Research is going to be a constant thing, isn't it? So we're definitely going to want to take that with us, I think. Uh, let's just... So we've actually got decent defences. Got like an opening there. So let's say I can't walk past that, but they can't walk past it either. So yeah, we've got like three openings, maybe four by the looks of it. There's a pretty big one. So maybe throw a wall in along here or something. Um, right, anyway, can we build that now? Yes, we can. We're going to need another power station, I think, to maintain that. And we don't have enough workers either. Ooh, we could break this loop and extend the work. Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, food. You're going to be kind of in the way for a minute. Um, ah, damn it. Got no more planks. I need to expand my planks as well. Oh, boy. It's all stacking up now. My bad decisions are coming back to haunt me. Ooh, can we build that? Can we build that around there? Yes, we can. Oh, hello. Okay, right. Then we're going to get that, because that doesn't really cost anything. Get a couple of those. Well, that costs that flux, but so yeah, it does cost stuff. We're going to need to uh, get some production on that. And if we go there, feed into that one, and then you feed into that one. There we go. We'll get some extra production on the go. Uh, we definitely need some power as well. Oh boy, we need power. Okay, that's good. We'll go with another power generator there. We'll actually take that one with us, I think, for the moment. Right, so we need people as well. I uh, didn't actually do that. Let's get people there. There's only one, but that's okay. And we'll have to we'll just have the factory feed that. Why not? 
go there like that and we'll have the factory just directly feed that one that'll be okay uh, no research so if we go here press R and you can see there's a massive research tree just like huge research tree so I think taking the research building with us just makes sense to be honest but may maybe it doesn't I don't know uh, we're gonna go starwood I think that's probably the first thing and up the production um, but I think we need yeah we need like tar don't we or some what was it tar extractors or something yeah there we go tar extractor do we have enough people though that's the question I don't think we do really do we we need more people yeah I think maybe I should have extended that a bit further but I guess actually we could could put houses kind of seeing a option here opportunity to maybe stick a house there and then we'll kind of ferry that round like so and then we could just put that straight into there we could put more of these into there and then to be honest they could just link into that I don't see any reason why they shouldn't and then we could put some houses along there and kind of feed into that okay that kind of works um, oh god there's a raid approaching right okay there's one coming from the north right so I mean I can help defend this so that is something um, oh there's another there's another wood thing there and I'm not sure if we actually need it to be honest I wonder if I'm powerful enough to take on the first one. Uh, we can build some towers. So I think we'll probably just build some towers like there. There. And then put it like a gate in or something. Hmm. Okay. That didn't work. That's not exactly how I wanted to do it. Uh, let's go M. Move you. Oh, it can't be moved. Okay. Well, we'll just stand here. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Get some go out here and grab some wood and stuff. And thin the herd a little bit. Uh, we're also going to need some more food. There we go. Wow, there's a lot of wood there, isn't there? Damn, that's good. So I'm hoping that they're going to come down this way and go into that side. Um. Yeah, let's get this tar extractor down. No, let's get another house down. I'm going to get another house down. I think that's the next one to go for. Get another house down there. So you go there. Ooh, buildings are under attack. Oh no. Ooh, yeah, 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 look at that. Yep, that worked out well. I wonder if that just repairs on its own. Ooh, crap. Is my building it? What building's under attack? No, I think it's. I think I'm okay. Right, okay. Uh, we want to make some of these flux vats as well. Get some extra flux because I just noticed we're kind of short on that. Okay, right. Hopefully you guys. Are, oh no. Right, we dealt with the first wave, but we lost two towers. But there we go. Hey, your buildings are under attack. We're okay. We're okay. We are A-OK, -okay, so we need more power and food is starting to become a bit of a problem. Yeah, we need more We need more food. Let's get more food down. Ah, damn it, we need another, need another one of those as well. Let's put that there then. I think on the corners is probably a good idea for those. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards anyway, I'm not sure. but uh, There we go. Feed that into there, we'll get that one there. That one there, right. Because the factory is running out of food. So yeah, I think that's uh, definitely something we should go for. And then we probably want more power again. Can we like upgrade those? Ooh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't give you uh, some... We need to research as well. Uh, where are we? Right, uh, let's put that there. They need, like, tar to research, I think it is. So there we go. Then we'll feed that in, and that starts researching. That's good. And then we're going to definitely need more power. Like, we're just absolutely going to need more power. There's just no way around it. Go there. Insufficient workers. But hopefully we can get some more houses down. Maybe. Oh, insufficient resources. Damn it. 
Oh boy, do you know what we need? We need to. I think we need to harness the power of this wood over here, don't we? I think we do. Get that going. Oh boy, that costs flux. Good. Yeah, so they don't have enough wood now. Did they destroy my building or something? What's going on? Maybe we don't want to... Oh, more... Uh, yep, so that's research is now done. Um, okay, so produce the wood warper requires building level 2 categories. Yeah, so do we want to just get more of that? I think we might want to go like a workshop. Assemble all sorts of bits and pieces into more usable bits and pieces. That sounds pretty good. I think that's all the stuff I'm picking up off the enemies. Um, ooh. The flux would be kind of cool though as well, wouldn't it? Let's go with that. I think we'll go with that one. Next. Okay, right. Research is going. Everything looks okay. It's just power. That's really my main concern. But it's not terrible. But it's not great either. Uh, stone as well. We could definitely do with some more stone, really. Uh, let's get like one more stone. I think we're probably okay for that. I, I don't think we need to rush too much on the stone. I don't think. Uh, yeah, we've got tons of stone. I think we're okay as we are. This power's really the one that's uh, hurting us, isn't it? I think we'll get one there. That's fine. That's now producing a decent amount of food. That's good. I think that'll work. I mean, I could always break that and just link that into there. Yeah, that's that'll work. Um, let's get more people down. That's the next one, and then we'll go there. That flux is really killing me, so... Uh, we are producing flux, but yeah, we really need some more flux, to be honest, so... And it's really killing me right now. Okay, well, let's get out there. I think we'll just see what else is out here, because we do need some other things eventually. Let's kind of just do some exploring. Right, there we go. Sorry about that. And there we are. We got you. Unlock flux crafting. Ooh, so can I just craft? So if I press C, I can just craft resources flux. So what do I need? I need that stuff and that stuff. Let's just craft a load of it. I don't think I need to that stuff, but I don't know. Pretty sure it just comes from these guys, so. Oh. Yeah, we need to do some research as well. Yes, I'm getting like those blood vials from those guys. Right, uh, let's go R. I think it game pauses, so we should be okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, blood with planks. So, hmm, I think I'm going to go with the workshop. Assembles all sorts of bits and pieces. That sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, let's go with that next. And then the crystal miner sounds like a good one to work towards. Right, so we're kind of, everything's positive. That's great. I think we're going to need some crystals at some point. Yeah, I just got some of that uh, purple goo stuff. There we go. Yeah, really digging this game, man. This is a freaking great game. And yeah, I just got some like scrap or something as well. So I'm going to assess, guess the workshop. Oh, wow, wood. Damn, we got wood everywhere. Okay. Deal with you. There we go. We just grab the wooden planks. Let's grab that. And we'll kind of let that go. We might want to get some more flux. We might want a flux thing on the platform. I'm not exactly sure uh, what we need on the platform. We don't. I think houses is definitely a given. I think that is just something that we definitely want to keep on there on the platform there. Right, let's go back. Uh, as long as your city stays uh, put, the dirt threat raids will uh, get more and more aggressive and uh, see the threat level in your hood. Yeah, uh, while you feel you're getting too tough, uh, you can fly away and launch, hit the launch button. It'll take some time while the engines warm up, so don't wait too long. Yeah, so that's kind of the thing is like, is like, oh my God, they've breached my defenses and you could hit it and then you get wiped out before the city takes off or you just chicken out and go like now or something you know I think that's kind of a cool mechanic 
Um, so remember only the buildings within the fly zone. Yeah, I think we can expand that somehow. I'm not exactly sure. Threat level three. I think maybe at five. We'll see what three is like. But I'm thinking maybe five we're going to get out of there. And, uh, you know, we won't hang around. Right, we're back here. So what are we looking? Everything looks pretty good. I think really we want to try and find this crystal stuff. Um, and yeah, I don't know what's happened to the wood over here. I think that, I think maybe we take, let's come over here. We'll pick that one up. We'll put him over there. And then we'll put that and feed him into there. And then feed him into oak. Oh, you can now build a workshop uh, that produces materials for upgrading your infrastructure. Infrastructure upgrades grant permanent bonuses and abilities. Okay, uh, press K to open the infrastructure screen. Right, well, I mean, to be honest, I think the workshop, if we build it, where is it? Uh, workshop. I'm assuming that we probably want that here on the platform with us. It's kind of a research thing. Let's put that there. Uh, we'll let out of people. So we want to put another house in, I think. Another house there. So yeah, flux is something I'm kind of hurting on, but that's okay. Um, and then let's, what was it, K? Let's go there. Oh, oh, this is me. Oh, I need the scrap stuff to upgrade. Oh, cool. And then I can get like melee damage, range damaged, turret damage. Oh, oh no, so that's like the turrets as well. Oh, cool. So it's like, ah, oh, man. So we need to collect this uh, materials. Oh, this is a global resource and does not require transportation. Yeah, so we're collecting that off those uh, off the enemies, I think. So, okay. Yeah, we definitely need some more wood changing production. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happened to that one. Maybe there's like a limit on it or something. Ooh, what's going on with it? Has it like ran out of woods? Ah, I think it might have like, ran out of logs. A resource depleted. Yes. Okay. Right. So, oh boy, a raid is approaching. Uh, we kind of need to sort this stuff out, don't we? Uh, well, let's just go. If I just do that, will that just replay? The, yes, that'll replay the flow. That's fine. It's cool. Then that one can just feed that one. That should be good. Right. So where's that raid coming from? It's coming from the same place. Okay. Right. Um, I think I'm going to get a test the thing out. And then we'll try and defend. Oh, you can now expand your city area. Make raw room for housing and production buildings. Oh, uh, select the city expansion from the infrastructure build menu. <gasps> cool. Okay, right. Well, I got I got more important things to think about than that right now. So uh, let's get a wood wall down. So I think they're going to hit us in the same place again. I hope they are. If they don't, then yeah, I'm kind of screwed. So let's put a wood wall there. Put a wood wall there. Just put wood walls down. And then we'll put some towers behind the walls. Like there and there. Maybe there. There we go. That's good. And then where was that? Infrastructure? Where was that? Aha! Ooh! Hello! So we can now add an extra tile. Oh, hello. So we can add a tile there. We can add a tile there. Ah! Okay, well, I mean... I guess we could put that one there. Will that just put that straight on the platform? I don't know. Let's try it. <gasps> it does. Oh, that is... Oh, man. That's so cool. That's cool. Okay, right. They're coming in. Let's get out there and help defend. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so that wood... That wood de depleted itself. Interesting. Can I get out there? If I kind of block myself in. Yeah, I might have blocked myself in. Never mind. Yeah, I think I blocked myself in. I want to go and collect all those resources. I think actually we yeah we dealt with that nicely. That's cool. Uh, let's take those down now. So I've got a little way out. There we go. So that's going to collect me a load of stuff. Bring you back onto these uh, guns, shall we? Go. Right, we're not doing any research either. Let's do some research. Let's go with this crystal miner because that's 
I don't know what that is, but obviously we're going to want to mine it. So, yeah, good idea, I think. Right, that's good. That's coming along there nicely. Uh, yeah, we could probably get another wood uh, wood thing in there, I think. Let's go with another one. Infrastructure, can we just do that? Ah. No. There we go. Right, that's cool. Uh, we've got some more research going, so let's check this out. Yeah, we still don't have any of those unassigned points. Oh, so I have a point. Let's go, I think probably survival. How do I select that? Oh, there we go. How do we get that? I don't know, but that's cool. Right, that's good. Upgrade infrastructure. Uh, pick a cart. Use on-off tool to disable any building. Okay. Uh, what, ooh, what do you need? Workshop. Oh, it needs pla Oh, it needs planks. Okay. Does it produce? Does it produce stuff that I have to let's put planks? Hmm. So, ooh, does it produce output? So it produces those upgrade materials. Ooh, right. Okay. Okay. So then we'll feed that out there into there. Yeah, this is a bit of a mess, but you know, does that work? Or is that not how it works? Do you just store them up? Might just store them up. Okay, either way, that's kind of cool. Right, power is getting a little bit on the low side, but I think we're okay. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good. So we need to really find this crystal stuff then, really, don't we? I think that's the next thing. Threat level has increased. I don't think I want to stay around too much longer, to be honest. But let's just go out and collect that research crystal miner. Let's get... Ooh, tar generators. That sounds pretty good. So, in building add-on blueprints. So, upkeep plus 200%. Workers plus 200%. Power generator adds the adds on the block uh, that adds a Tesla machinery. Ooh, so it generates like... Okay. Assume that's just more crafting recipes. So, we can actually just craft that stuff from the, from the vials that we're getting, all the pink stuff that we're getting as well. Okay. Ooh, starwood to bloodwood. Oh, so we can actually craft starwood. Okay, I didn't realize starwood was a thing. I thought that's what we were collecting. Starwood repair. Hmm. In a pinch, you can immediately repair some damage. I'm guessing that's the thing for me, right? Okay, so I don't know how we manufacture starwood. I kind of like the sound of these generators, although these refineries as well sound pretty cool. Hmm. I'm going to go with the generators. Let's go with the generators. Let's kill off some more of these guys. No research selected? Yeah, it's selected. Don't worry, dude. There we are. Yes, yeah, so we want to be constantly collecting this stuff because we're collecting junk and stuff that we could potentially turn into things. Okay. That's good to know. Right. Can we find any crystal? That's the question. This seems pretty good, doesn't it? This seems pretty good. There we go. Uh, I don't know how much that heal that does. 50 health. Okay. Not quite there yet. We'll use it when we get to about half health. Unless I get panicked and then I'll just bash it. <laughs> Use that. We'll heal up. Yeah, I need to kind of upgrade my weapons and stuff as well, don't I? Really. Ooh, what was that over there? 
Oh, that's just my stuff. Okay. <laughs> I thought, oh, what's that? But I think that's just mine. Never mind. Um, damn. I've got to the edge of the map, so... I'm assuming I'm going to need this crystal stuff. That's kind of more what I'm thinking. Right, we'll get some research in a second. Right, let's do that right. No research. Uh, sh acid shard miners. Ooh. I mean, again, oh, spike fist. Kind of sounds nice. I'm going to go with that. Kind of sounds nice. Yeah, at the edge of the map, I don't see anything yet. Okay, let's let's go back. I think. Just collect all the resources. There we go. Let's go back. I've not found any crystals, so we're just going to have to keep going out on expeditions. So I've explored this side of the map decent enough. I mean, it's not great, but... Do you run faster if I shift? Not really. Just kind of a wobbly old tin can, aren't you, really? There we go. Brilliant. Right. Ooh, that has no stone going to it. So the stone thing's run out. Ah, crap. Okay, so we've got to find more stone as well. But I think this is a good place to call it, and I think I'm going to end the episode here. Let's just pause that. Um, so uh, yeah, as I say, this is um, Dream C Dream Engines Nomad Cities. Uh, yeah, it's got quite a uh, quite a long title, but there we go. And uh, yeah, so um, as I say, I think this is where I'm going to call it though and end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.